Bang bang. Yeah, so I was black here against uh, Valery Filipov, 26-32 rated uh, Grandmaster. I did not tell <laughs> tell Chucky to get back to the kitchen. Yeah, Thomas, I probably played Bishop E3, Queen D2 line in the exchange. Any opinion on, on that line, Sinejian? Well, my friend played a very similar line over the weekend with Black and Drew. I think... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Is Bishop G7 the main move there? Ah, okay. Yeah, my friend played that with the black pieces this exact line over the weekend and he thinks it's just draw <laughs> you know basically okay let's go on to this game I had the black pieces and he played the fianchetto uh, I hadn't played many Grunfeld so uh, I had been preparing it and I was happy to play it because I didn't have many uh, many games with this in the database so I thought he would not uh, expect it. But the scary thing was that this guy hadn't lost with white for like forever. And he was just beating everybody with white. Juan Veli and a lot of strong, strong players at that time. So yeah, we got this uh, Fianchetto line. I played rookie E8. And yeah, bishop D7. Black eventually wants to break with C6. I think these are all fairly standard moves I took. Then I got this blockading knight on d6. Just gonna go quickly over this. I think I will make a video sometime on, on, on this game. Uh, Rook c1. Uh, and here I played a novelty. This is g4. He played queen d2. And I hit him. I hit him hard here. By the way, I didn't know it was a novelty at the time. It was just something over the board. I took on c3. Ka -ka! He took with the queen. If he takes with the rook. More forcing moves to take this. I play knight b5. For Calicious. And my calculation was I could take on d5. Yes, bc4 was a novelty. At the time, at least. And I thought I would be able to keep... Uh, well, yeah... Keep the pawn, I'll take on f4. Bishop c8, holding on to the pawn. The extra pawn that I just gained. And this is better. So after I took on c3, he actually decided to sack the queen. Took with the queen, knight b5. And took on b5. But, uh, yeah, nice combination. But I managed to uh, sort of repel his uh, initiative. Trading off the light square bishop, I, th I thought it was an, a nice accomplishment. Knight f6, another nice move. And then, yeah, I played some really nice moves. And I should have won this game, but I inexplicably made some checks here. So this was the first time that I was like completely winning against a 2600 plus player, and, and I choked. I took the knight, which, uh, looking at it now, I just can't understand. Because, once I do that, you at least get an anchored bishop. And the bishop, you know, controls a lot of stuff. It's still winning. But why not take on f6? The knight will not, you know, coordinate with anything if you take on b7. I mean, I'll probably check some stuff off, and I might even be threatening to bring the king for a mating net. I guess I was afraid of him taking and and the pawn being dangerous, but that was a choked up. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, this was played in the uh, European Club Cup, and after the, which is six players from your club, and usually after the game, and this was yeah, this game was drawn. Usually after the game, you. Uh, 
you gather maybe in, in the lobby and you look at the games together. And we were looking at this game in the lobby. And Vasily Ivanchuk, he walks past us uh, analyzing and he's just walking like... Sees the position for a brief second and he keeps walking. And then he stops like 50 meters, 30, 50 meters, you know, past the board. And he starts just, you know, looking into the air. Okay, okay, but okay, okay, okay. So after about a minute, he turns around. Uh, I think it was around, around this position. And he's, okay, maybe, maybe this and here, and okay, yeah, yes, okay, maybe here, uh, interesting, yeah, but, 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 uh, okay, but okay, interesting idea. Uh, and that was my inventory story. But it was interesting because he had a very similar position against Karpov. Uh, to be to be precise, this position where I played knight d6 had occurred in Ivanchuk's game, and he played bishop g4 in his game. Okay, but okay, bishop g4, uh, attacking queen. Okay. Uh, Karpov took Ivanchuk took on d4, and okay, he's currently down a, uh, a piece, but he's getting some things back here, and he eventually. Sack the exchange. Interesting game. Uh, he was down the exchange, but had nice compensation. And in the end, the game was drawn. Okay, right. Yeah, he can't. He, he can maybe win the pawn on, on b5, but it's it's not enough. White has a, a very nice fortress here on, on the king side, and the game was a great draw. But you know, he just walked past the game, and he re, you know he recognized the position as. Okay, okay, but okay, uh, I play against Karpov, uh, similar, okay, must think, yes, yes, maybe interesting this move, yeah, okay, okay, maybe no, yeah, okay, okay, but okay. So yeah, that was Chucky, always thinking about chess, and always uh, mingling with uh, our us minnows. <laughs> okay, so that was my Chucky story. <laughs> Yeah, Ionchuk seems like a really, really nice guy. Of course, he's, uh, let's say, he's different. Different in a nice way. We need more people like Ionchuk. Uh, but okay, I have a... Uh, okay, okay, but okay. 